All right, let's prove that this expression equals that expression. So I like to set it up like this. Remember, never work over the equal sign. Always work on one side of the equation until you get to the other side of the equation. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is get common denominators. And I do that by multiplying the second expression by cosine of x, which would give me sine x cosine x. So I'll show you what I did there so you can see. I multiplied by cosine x cosine x on the top and bottom of that left side, and I got that. 1 minus cosine squared x looks pretty familiar. That's the sine squared of x. If you look at your properties, your trig properties, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, which means sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared. And that's what I got right there over sine x cosine x. Now, let me change colors here for you. One of the sines is going to cancel, which means I'll get sine x over cosine x, which is just equal to tangent, and so I'm done.